reported this week, which I thought was really cool. Economist.com. Economist.com? Okay, magazine, right? And uh, Economist.com, you can subscribe annually for $59. Oh, by the way, <laughs> this will make you a lot of money. So, really simple little box, sign up box, little Johnson box they call them on the internet, just a little, not even that big, it's about that big. Print subscription, $125. Mail it right to your house, okay? Right, right there, 125 bucks. Print and web subscription, $125. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Must have been a typo, right? <laughs> Economist.com. Mm, wait, Economist.com, they don't have typos. <laughs> they have editors and stuff. Well, that's interesting. So why, in heaven's name, would they put the print subscription and the print plus the web subscription as the exact same price. Because any idiot would know that it's a better deal to get the print and web together, right? You'd have to be a moron. <laughs> but any other idiot would be able to figure it out. So we found out from MIT, which is a cool school which I could never have afforded to go to, that 84 people of the first 100 subscribed to the print and web when shown this. 16 subscribed to the $59. Nobody took the print subscription. A surprise? No surprise, right? Print subscription, 125 bucks. Print and web, 125 bucks. 59 for the internet only. Now, no shock. No shock. Now, they took out this, this line. They took that line out. Okay, you with me? For the next group. 68 people subscribed for $59. 32 people subscribed for $125 of the first 100. So let's just pause and realize how much money we didn't make last year. Okay, So what we did to screw ourselves up last year was that, that we didn't give an option that any idiot would not take. I forgot to do that. That's because I'm an idiot. Okay, But when you take that option out, only 32 people subscribed to the most expensive one. So they did $12,000 of business for the first 100 people on our first scenario with the, the print offered. And then they did about $4,000, uh, $6,000 for the option where this is out. Pretty cool? Everybody, does, if you don't follow this, I'll walk you through it again. Does everybody get that? What were the results when they changed it? Ah, good question, fair. Uh, Economist.com, $59, 68 when this is gone, 68 people subscribed to that one. Four times as many when this option was taken out. They lost a fortune. Okay, so obviously when you go to economist.com, you'll see that like that. Okay, now you're not economist.com, but most people in this room have a website, and most people can do this, right? Jay Abraham, who you may have heard of, a fairly sharp guy. He'll tell you that he's a genius, but he's a fairly sharp guy. Um, this is what he does when you buy his. He's got this big book. It's about this fat, because there's no writing on half of the pages. Otherwise, it would have been this fat, right? <laughs> but when you put something that weighs 11 pounds in a person's hand, Janet Switzer, who's one of the smartest marketing people on this planet, she says people want density. They want heavy. Yannick Silver, very smart young man, he sends you a course. He could easily put all this on a PDF with all the ads from the history of the internet and history of advertising. And he's got box, well, books and books and books of these ads all in binders, one side. And he put in his ad, it's so heavy that it'll probably break the UPS guy's back bringing it up to your door. And you're thinking, but I don't want all that clunky stuff. 
I don't want, I, 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 why do you, Kevin, why do you have those big CD cases to send out 12 CDs in? All you have to really do is just stick them in a little thing and everybody, um, because income would be divided by three, okay? You have to have big. Big is dense, dense is necessary. Dense is necessary. So, when you have the print in the web, this is where you make the money, as long as you're offering the print at the same exact price. Cool? Okay?